Today we're going to look at the semi-finals of Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 2, Episode 7. Let's get started. All right, the semi-finals are taking seven of the previous winners from the episodes that were happened up until now, and they're going to be painting Richard Dawkins and Sally Hitcher. It's a double portrait, and it has something to do with the idea that they have diametrically opposed view on politics. And um, I don't know what those views are, and frankly, today I don't care. So that's what the seven participants are going to be looking at. Let's look at number one. Now, I have not, I didn't watch the program with the sound on because, uh, as you know, I've got two involved in the judges, and I want to free myself from that and see it for myself. All right, this is participant number one, who I have hashtag Joe is always right, except when she's wrong. I have pegged as being the winner because the judges are looking for something different, and he is a very good at what he does, but then he also will explode with paint. This is the uh, painting that he did in the episode that he won. He got a likeness, and at the very end, he started putting in these strong, blocky pieces of paint and drawing his palette knife across, and it created a lot of energy and excitement. So I had him pegged probably as the winner. But today we won't know the winner. We just know who the three people are that are going forward into what they call the finals. This is a semifinals. So let's look at the portrait that he did of Richard Dawkins and Sally Hitcher. And here it is. He gritted the whole thing out and then went ahead and drew with charcoal and then painted on top of that. I think he's just extremely good. He's very good at getting a likeness and he even breathes, I think, more light into the faces than is actually there. He pumps up the color. So I really like his painting. It's probably a little bit commercial for most taste. It's not, but I think it's a blend of traditional and contemporary. And I kind of enjoy that. So again, I think he's going to win. I thought he was going to win from when he first made an appearance. Now let's look at participant number two. And first we're going to look at her with her self-portrait. What gets you into the uh, competition is to do a portrait that the judges look at digitally and they select you to be on the program. And it's a beautiful likeness. Uh, she... I, I, I thought she had a really good shot at this thing, but, uh, but let's see what happens in this with her final piece here. So this is the piece that got her into the program. Here's the piece Here's the from piece, the whoops. episode that she won, and I think she did a beautiful job. Now you can see her thing is to do faces and then leave the background completely minimalized and also parts of the painting minimalized. So I don't think she ran out of time when it comes to the final piece here of the double portrait. That's just what she does. So let's look at her piece. Here it is, and uh, you know I think she did a pretty outstanding job. Now what she did, it was pretty clear that what she did was she went and she took a picture of each one of them. So she, it's as if she did two separate portraits, rather than the way the figures appeared in the actual setting, which I think just was a smart strategy. She's very good at getting a likeness, and um, I enjoy how she applies paint very much. It would be interesting to see her finish something, <laughs> but thats I think that's not her thing. Her thing is to get the facial features in, leaves, leaves the hair white and the background white. At one point she talked about in a previous episode how she liked the pristineness of the white paper, which I kind of understand. You know, I always say keep the whites of your paper white. There is something about um, the white of the paper that, that kind of reminds you that this is all an illusion anyway. It's a white piece of paper and you're putting down blotches of paint in order to describe a form. It's kind of a magic trick in a way. And I kind of enjoy that she shows her hand that way. All right, number three. Number three painted, um, oh, I forgot her name. Anyway, the, the actress that she painted, well, first let's look at the, her self-portrait. Here she is with her self-portrait, really beautifully done. And then the painting that she did was um, of an actress whose face looks very more, more uh, very sad and repose. And uh, indeed it does, but it was a very good likeness. And they were intrigued by kind of the moodiness of this painting. So she got into the semifinals. So let's take a look at what her final piece is. Now, her final piece, I find really dark and moody. I don't know. It's something about, um, I always say I don't know. There's something about this that just doesn't work for me at 
all. Not that I could do any better. Believe me, I couldn't do any better. But there's something about it. I, th I think the thing is you want to make the two figures look as if they have something to do with each other. And they they don't. They look like two separate portraits and and they just don't meld well together. So this one for me was was unsuccessful. But it is definitely different, and that is something the judges are looking for, so she may have a good chance here. Number four. All right, number four, let's take a look at what he did for his self-portrait. He has a style that's, I would call, a little bit muddy, and when it works, it really works, but if it doesn't work, then it really doesn't work. So there's a self-portrait. See what I mean by muddy? It's um, um, no distinct areas uh, when i when i squint my eyes for example it looks like a uh, a no tan it looks like a, a an underpainting for a painting but that's not the case that's just how he works and i do like the energy of his brush strokes now the painting that got him to the semifinals in the episode that he won was this one and he did quite a few color value swap outs which i really appreciate he enhanced the color i don't think he got a likeness of the figure and they talked about that at the time but remember we've talked about this in these recaps that we want a good painting not just a painting that shows what the model looked like but a good painting that would look good on anybody's wall not just the wall of the person that's been painted and i think this i think that fits that that brief now let's look at what he did for the semifinals I think he got a little bit lost here too, although I do like, you see how the two figures seem to have something to do with each other. There's something about the negative space that isn't cut in two like there was in the previous one. So I think he did a, I think he did a good job with that. I just wish he had pulled back a little bit, but boy, that's really nitpicking. It would have been so hard to do this. I, I would have been, um, I, I just would have been so far in over my head, but that's what they signed up for and so that's what they did so now let's look at participant number where are we i don't remember hold on i'll get it um participant number number five all right participant number five number five yes number five ah number five yes number five is our watercolorist yay i believe she's from ireland this is the self-portrait that got her into the competition. Beautifully done. She also teaches portraiture, so she does this morning, noon, and night. She's lovely and, and certainly knows how to work watercolor. And she did a watercolor painting of, um, who did she do? Uh, Neil Hannon, who is a musician and songwriter. And I was really surprised at that they picked a watercolorist and they just were so effusive about, look what watercolor can do. I can't believe it. I can't believe she did this in watercolor. They were just like, they had just discovered watercolor for the first time, where, uh, which kind of bothered me, but anyway, but I think she did a really good job here, don't you? Really, really good job. So challenging. And yet um, the two figures definitely worked together. She used her negative space well and got really good drawing skills. So nice job. Let's see how she does. All right, number six, one more to go after this. All right, number six had a really unusual technique. What he does is he drips wax onto a canvas and then he paints on top of that. So the canvas has sort of a mottled texture to it. And he also works in pointillism. So he uses little tiny points of paint in order to do his work. He's meticulous and, you know, a, just paints beautifully. This is the painting that he won his episode with, which is just beautifully done. And you know what? What? It's just a fine piece of painting. Look at the color value swap outs in the skin. So many colors going on in the skin. There's green. There's purple. There's oranges. He just really knows how to cover a surface with a variety of colors so that they kind of meld in together to create forms something I really admire and strive to do. Not, not to the extent that he's using points of paint, but, but definitely using spots of paint. And this is his final piece. I probably would have selected this to be one of the finalists, but, uh, but we'll see whether that happens. It's just so well done. Wow, really well done. Now he also was working from photographs as, as some of the people were. And I think you would just have to be in order to get the kind of detail that he got here. But nice job. All right, and number seven, who's our 
final participant in the semifinals. Now, this person, uh, I, I wasn't crazy about his, his painting overall. First of all, let's look at his self-portrait. I don't think it looks like him at all. <laughs> but, but I don't know, maybe it was done when he was younger. Uh, I, 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 yeah, that's, uh, but, it, but it is a really, really good painting. The painting that got him uh, to this place was a painting that he did of this footballer, and he did a great job of creating uh, the desk was there, the chair was there, but then he created the, the background and really used his imagination. I think he did a really good job. However, I do not like his final piece for this particular episode. Here it is. They only showed it for one second. When they don't show something or don't have much to say about something, you, you just don't even see it. It's like a blink of an eye. So it's very hard to for, for me to judge his painting. I just never got a really good look at it. But there he is using his imagination to create a different space in a different place than what was in front of him. And I like that artists do that. You can create your own world. That's kind of fun. So let's see who the winners are that are going on to the finals. And the winners are... Dun, 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 dun. All right, here's winner number one. This is the person I picked to win the whole thing from the, from the very beginning, from the first time we saw what he did. And he's... We were, we've already talked about the paintings, so let's just look at the three semifinalists, and then we'll talk about what can, what the finals consists of. The final is, is going to be to paint the actor Ian McKellen, and they will paint that in real time and be judged. And then what they also will do as part of the finals, oh, here's the watercolor, so that's the second one selected for the finals, yay. And then what they also will do is they will have a portrait to do on their own, which they can spend as much time as they want to. So they're going to be judged in the finals on two paintings, one of Ian McKellen and one of a painting that they've done spending as much time as they want to. This is the third one that they picked for the semi-finals to go on to the finals, and this was the one that I find kind of disturbing. It just doesn't work for me. And then in the absolute finals, what they do is the person selected of these three final semi-finalists that we just saw will paint the actor Alan Cummings. It is a $10,000 commission for, I think, the Scotland, whatever the museum, <laughs> Scotland Portraiture Music Museum. That's it. So uh, that will be after the finals. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, master value, mix for color. See you next time. Bye-bye.